So let's get down to business. Cuts it out. He's got one waiting in the box. Stepanenko. The space on the wing. Good try, but the direction was lacking. So unlucky not to score with that one. What an effort. Yarmolenko. 15 minutes gone in the first half. Ponce. Arrives in the box. it past the defence long pass forward no one in the area and he crosses to the centre Won't be making it through. Good ball right down the middle. Jill Sunu. Only two minutes to be added on. A crucial intervention there. Stepanenko. There is the end of the first period. Well, it's left me wondering if either manager is going to change tactics now and push more bodies forward in search of a goal. Neither side conceding a goal then. It is nil nil. And we are off and running again for the next 45 minutes. A cagey affair so far, both teams perhaps showing too much respect. Thumps it long. Surely! And back it goes, whence it came. He reached the hour mark. No, that's not going to make it. Stepanenko.
Oh, great defending. Stepanenko. In the penalty area. The keeper holds it. It's still goalless with only five minutes to go now. Pumps it upfield. Cuts it out. Cuts it out. Into the box. The game has ended with the scores level. 90 minutes, not enough to separate these two sides. So now we head into extra time. Away we go. After no breakthrough in 90 minutes, will we see one in the next 30? All that's needed is one moment of brilliance. Which team will be able to provide it? Space on the flank. He parries it. Goal in sight. Referee blows his whistle to end the first half of extra time and the scores are still level. Anyone's guess really as to who will go on now and win this one. Well, I think for both sets of players now, fatigue becomes your biggest opponent. You know, when the body gets tired, the mind usually goes with it. Concentration levels are difficult to manage now. Into the last 15 minutes then, and we've all seen how tired some of those players are. Others striving to keep their form. Excellent overall levels of fitness, I'd say. Could still be that we'll see some decent action. I think the players of both teams are physically tired and very frustrated. Plenty of chances for both sides, but nobody able to break the deadlock. They seem resigned to seeing the game end like this. I do hope I'm wrong. Knocks it long. Was alert to the danger. There is the whistle to signal the end of the second half of extra time and the scores. Although experience can calm the nerves in a penalty shootout, I'm sure there's always going to be an element of doubt in the players' minds. Struck with some authority. He made it. It's 1-1. You could see he was really nervous taking that one, but he's made it one apiece. That's a good start and a great, great penalty to make it one each. Oh, keeper's feet were glued to the spot. Beautifully put away to the goalkeeper's right. A natural leader showing plenty of composure. The skipper, Stan, that's in the left side of the net. was outstanding oh the pressure was huge there to keep the scores level but he's managed to control his nerves and slot the ball home goes for the right side he puts it in the left corner yes 
outsmarted the keeper and it's in. Missed this and the match is all over. Never easy to take penalties. Yes, he's put it away and his team breeds a collective side relief. The keeper in two minds there. You have to feel for the taker. He's under incredible pressure. He it's in and the supporters are on their feet. He sends the keeper the wrong way. This one vital kick could decide the match. If he misses, what a save, the game's over. The kick decided the game. With neither side giving an inch in regulation time, it had to be settled with penalties. The only...